Hi everybody, this is Adam Gardner. I'm going to be doing some water testing for hydrogen content uh, in drinking water. We're going to use these H2 blue drops uh, which test the concentration of hydrogen in drinking water uh, by turning the water blue uh, when there isn't any hydrogen in the water. So it's a reverse inverse relationship. So I'm going to start with some tap water which I'm sure doesn't have any hydrogen in it. And then you'll notice that the water turns blue almost immediately. Because <clears throat> as I said, it's an inverse relationship. So if there's no hydrogen in the water, if there is hydrogen in the water, then the water will not turn blue. So I'm going to just put one drop of this blue stuff in here. And you can observe that the water turned blue immediately. So this stuff's a little bit sticky. So I'm going to use this napkin here. Clean out this vial quickly so that we can do another test. This machine here is a water ionizer. It uh, infuses the water uh, drinking water with hydrogen using electrolysis. We live in a motor home so uh, our ionizer has a little seat belt to keep it from falling off the falling off the countertop when we go around turns. Okay, I'm going to test uh, this ionizer here on uh, level pH 9.5 drinking water, that's what I drink. Actually, I'm going to let it run for a couple minutes. Not a couple minutes, but. A few seconds here. And I think it's good. The trick is to get exactly six milliliters of water in the vial here. I think I did it there. Now I'll put a drop in here. So every drop of water, of blue stuff, that goes in the vial and does not turn the water blue corresponds to 0.1 parts per million of hydrogen. So you can see the water is clear. So that was one drop. Again, every drop represents three, four, I'm going to put five drops in there. Every drop represents 0.1 parts per million of dissolved hydrogen. And you can see uh, that the water is still quite clear. So I'm going to put five more drops in. One, two, three four, five, so that's ten drops not including the one that hit the side. I'm going to give it a little stir. And you can see that on the bottom it still has not turned the water completely blue. So let me put another couple drops in. So this is 11, 12 drops. I'll give it another stir here. So 12 drops and you can see the water is completely blue now. So 12 drops uh, times 0.1 parts per million per liter. So that equals 1.2 parts per million per liter of uh, molecular hydrogen dissolved in this water. So let me uh, give this a rinse here. And let's do another test. I'm going to wipe it out with this towel. OK. 
Okay. So, this is some drinking water that I bottled last night, or actually my wife bottled it. Thank you, Dub, for doing that. She uh, started off with the 9.5 pH water from the ionizer and dropped one of these uh, Alkaviva H2 hydrogen tablets in there. So this bottle is going to give a nice little pop because uh, the hydrogen builds up pressure and that's how it infuses in the water. Kind of important to get exactly six milliliters in the vial because that's how the blue drops are calibrated. All right, I think we're out of here. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you can see it's not even close to turning blue here. So that was 10 drops. Maybe I'll give it a stir just to prove the point. It's not turning blue. Okay, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Get a little stir, not turning blue, 17, 18, 18. So when you can see it's still separating. It looks like it is getting close. 19. 20. Let's give it another little stir. Still separated. Twenty one, twenty two. See, it's still a little separated on the bottom. Let's give it one more drop. Oh, it's 23. Now you can see that it's completely, completely blue. So I would say 22 drops, 22 times. 0.1 is 2.2 uh, so this water has 2.2 parts per million per liter of drinking water uh, which equals 2.2 milligrams of molecular hydrogen thank you very much
Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, and I uh, hope to see you again real soon.